Our seminary fathers, the brothers seminarians, mga minamahal kong kapatid kay Kristo. Our pilgrimage to Our Lady of Manawag to open another year of formation for our seminary system takes place under the shadow of the 500th anniversary of the first Mass and the first baptism. It is under the shadow of COVID-19, now Delta variant. It is also under the beautiful shadow of the 800th anniversary of the Dies Natalis, the birth into the heavenly kingdom of St. Dominic. And the Dominican community worldwide celebrates this year with a theme on the same table with Dominic. At table with Dominic. At table. Why is the table important for the Dominican family? Because soon after the death of St. Dominic, a piece of tabletop was used to paint the image of St. Benedict together with the brethren. That is why to celebrate the death anniversary 800 years later, the theme is on the table because his oldest representation was painted on a table. And I would like to invite you, my dear brothers seminarians, to reflect on the importance of table in our priestly formation. Contrary to popular belief, the first meaning of table is not for eating. The first reference of table is simply a flat surface where you can write. The first table was for writing. That is why you can understand that the tablet is related to the word table. A tablet is not a little medicine that you pump into your mouth when you're sick. A tablet is a small table to write on. Table. Table for writing, table for study. We cannot have a seminary without tables. And the first important table in the seminary is not the dining table, but the desk on which you study, the desk on which you write, the desk on which you glorify God by reading, by researching, by knowing Him more. It is very important, my dear seminarians, that you understand that when you write, when you read, it is not that the seminary professors are torturing you with more stressful assignments. Look at reading, look at writing as sanctifying. Study can make you holy. I am sure you know that prayer can make you holy. But at this stage in your life, my dear seminarians, believe me, studying can make you saints now. There is holiness about studying. There is holiness about writing. There is holiness about reading that still needs to be discovered by you, our dear seminarians. You become a saint by kneeling. You become a saint by singing. You become a saint by praying the Psalms. But you become a saint by studying well. You become a saint by reading and writing well. You glorify God that way. The second meaning of table you will find in the seminary refectory where food is served, where fellowship is promoted, where communio, where brotherhood, 
where kapatiran, where pananabangan is celebrated three times a day, maybe even more. So the second meaning of table is fellowship. It is joy. The second meaning of table is communio. It is friendship. It is brotherhood. I insist that our seminarians live together in the seminary and not by online formation because there is beauty in being brothers living together. I can understand the joy of our senior high school seminarians who have finally returned to the seminary after so long. Relish it. If you miss the seminary for more than a year, now do not take the seminary for granted. Now you understand how beautiful the seminary is. Now you understand how beautiful seminary friendship is. Now you understand, kahit ganun lang ang pagkain natin sa seminaryo, mas masarap kasi kasama mo, kapatid mo. When you are with brothers, even water becomes sweet. When you are with brothers, all food is tasty. On the other hand, if you are alone, if you are isolated, maybe even in quarantine, no matter how beautiful the food is to look at, no matter how tasty it was prepared, it will still taste bland because you miss the brothers. You miss the friendship that should accompany every meal. But the third invitation of table in seminary formation, after study, after fellowship in a meal, is that when you see the table in the seminary, when you see your table in your own private rooms, when you see your table in the study hall, please remember the men outside the seminary who have no tables. They have no table. They have no tablet. They have no place to eat. When you see your desk inviting you to study, pasalamat ka sa Diyos, may desk ka pa. Maraming katulad ninyo, gustong mag-aral, pero sa ilalim na lang ng puno ng mangga. Maraming katulad ninyo, gustong mag-aral, pero modular materials lang hindi pwedeng online. Wala silang gadget. When you see your table inviting you to study, inviting you to read, inviting you to write, huwag din yung kakalimutan. Your table is a blessing. When you see your table inviting you to study, say to the table, thank you for being there. I have taken you for granted all these years. And when you see the table filled with food, ready for you to eat, remember, those who have no tables, those who have nothing to eat. The seminary should not become your anesthesia. The seminary cannot be your shabu to make you forget those who have no tables, those who have no desks. When you look at the table with food, remember the hungry. When you look at the table with food, remember those who have no tables. They eat standing on the sidewalk. They eat standing, even walking, because they have no food. They have no table to share a meal. Your seminary formation invites you to relish the table. St. Dominic's table, on which his image is painted, is an invitation for us, my dear brothers. Relish studying. Eat well. But most of all, remember those without tables, 
without food, without study. You are blessed, but your calling now is to become a blessing for those who have no tables in their lives. I pray for that day when your time comes to return to the Father's house. And like St. Dominic on his Dies Natalis, may people look at the table where you studied, may people look at the table where you ate, may people look at the table where you wrote your thesis, May people look at the table that you cleaned and remember and say, here, a holy seminarian studied. On this table, a saint once shared a meal.